Hello, in this session, we are going to look at how we can uh, attach a new IAM role to an EC2 instance. So just at a high level, IAM role can be used whenever we want to give access to other services. Like for example, let's say if uh, I want EC2 to be able to access the S3 service, we can make use of the IAM role for that. All right. So in this session, so this is uh, what we will be doing. So we will be creating one custom IAM policy with our custom uh, permissions that we want. And then we will also be creating one custom IAM role. So basically a new role will be created and we will be attaching this IAM policy to that uh, new role that we are going to create. Post that using this IAM role, we will also create a profile, an instance profile and uh, we will also be launching an EC2 instance. And then we will attach this IAM role, that the instance profile that we have created, we will be attaching this IAM role to the new EC2 instance that will be launched. Okay, so basically uh, we are going to create new IAM role and attach that to the new instance that we are going to launch. In the last session, we looked at how we can attach an existing IAM role by making use of the data source. And here we are going to create new IAM role and attach that to the EC2 instance. Here I have the code that I will be using for this example. I will be sharing this uh, link to this code in the description section so you can use this. Now here in the main.tf file, this is where I've defined. So I'm creating the policy and I'm giving it access to the EC2 service. I'm giving full access to the EC2 service. Here I'm creating the role for the EC2 service. Here I'm attaching the IAM policy to the role, all right? So the role um, and which policy to attach. Here I'm creating the profile and then I'm launching the instance and uh, I'm passing this IAM instance profile argument and then I'm referring the instance profile to attach that IAM role. And then I have the provider block, I have my variables and the variable values, all right? So let's uh, jump into the server. So here I have the server and I'll start um, adding these files. So let's say we'll add the terraform.tf bars. Terraform.tf bars. So that's my variables. Then we'll add the variable, we'll define the variables. So variables.tf. So that's my variables. And then we'll have the provider block. So this will be my provider.tf and then we will have our main.tf file where we are creating all of the resources all right so i'll save this file let me quickly initialize this uh, which will download the necessary plugins for us now let's generate a plan and see what this is going to do. So this should be showing five resources for us. And if you look at the instance profile, you can see it is pointing to the example profile. So the role name, all right? So this is what we are uh, using, okay? And it is attaching that to my EC2 instance, all right? So that's my instance. Uh, here I have the role, that's the uh, policy attachment, that's the policy and that's the instance profile, All right? So let's go ahead and apply this. So Terraform apply and I'll auto upload this. So this will start creating the resources for us and uh, this will create one custom policy. It will create the IAM role, attach the custom policy to the role, create an instance profile launch an EC2 instance and attach this instance profile to the EC2 instance. So this is creating, so let's wait for this to complete. And this is done. So now if you go to the console, we can validate. So here I will have the new instance which is launching. So you can see this is in the initializing state and I should be able to see the role, example underscore role, the, the role name that we have created, right? So here the example role so this is the uh, name i have given all right so that's the name and uh, you can look at the permission for this all right so you should be able to see a custom policy that we have created a customer 
managed policy so you can see that's customer managed and this is the policy we created again if you can look at the code the uh, policy that's the policy and we are calling it as example underscore policy that's the policy and here is the json uh, code that we have defined all right so this will give the access to the um, ec2 service all right so this is just an example you can define whatever permissions you want uh, this is just an example of uh, attaching the policy uh, obviously you can use whatever policy you want all right so uh, that's all for this session so this is how you can create new iam role and attach that to the new vc2 instance uh, that we are going to launch using terraform all right so that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video thank you